Meghan Markle recently received criticism from TV presenter Piers Morgan for choosing British actress Jamila Jamil to appear on the cover of the September issue of Vogue. Jamila Jamila was selected by Meghan Markle to appear on a Special Forces for Change edition of British Vogue magazine to celebrate female trailblazers and changemakers. Piers Morgan criticized the decision however, tweeting, one of Meghan's kind and inspiring female empowering Vogue heroines is at Jamila Jamil, who called at Beyoncé a stripper, said at Miley Cyrus was a vagina with no platform and told at Rihanna to put your Emmy away. Royal expert Juliet Raiden claimed Piers was trying to create a version of clickbait on TV by criticizing the Duchess. Referring to the tweet, Nine News' Belinda Russell said, Piers Morgan has come out again, he slammed the use of one of the ladies on the front cover, Jamil Jamil. Juliet Raiden, author of The Royals in Australia, commented, Well Piers Morgan seems to have this be in his bonnet about Meghan. When she was in suits she came over to Britain. She met him as the powerful man in the media for a drink in the pub, and since she's been married to Prince Harry she doesn't see him anymore. So he's been ghosted by her, according to Piers Morgan, who knows. He seems to be wanting to be out to get her. I mean, of course, he is a morning TV presenter who likes to make headlines. He knows he's going to make a headline by attacking Meghan, so that is also what he's doing. It's sort of a version of clickbait on TV. Pierce has made his name by being argumentative, so this is very much his M.O. and this is what he does. He also wrote, she constantly bleats about privacy, then edits Vogue. The Duchess has been embroiled in controversy in recent months after a string of privacy incidents. Fans at Wimbledon were reportedly banned from taking images of the Duchess as she was apparently attending in a private capacity, despite BBC cameras showing she was at the match. Only two images were released of the Archie Harrison's christening which was made a private affair. Harry and Meghan are yet to reveal details about the godparents of their child. Many rushed to Meghan Markle's defense however, with the Today Show presenter Brett McLeod claimed Mr. Morgan was weird and suggested he seek help for his obsession with the Duchess. Mr. McLeod said, Piers Morgan's never gotten over the fact that Meghan Markle stopped returning his texts. He used to go on about how they were best mates and then she ghosted him. And he's now obsessed with her. It used to be weirdly amusing, now it's just weird. And yet another full column attacking her. If guest editing a magazine is the worst crime she can commit according to Piers Morgan, mate, you have got to get some help. Of Meghan's contribution to British Vogue the magazine's editor Edward Enenfell shared how delighted he was. The fashion journalist said, to have the country's most influential beacon of change guest edit British Vogue at this time has been an honor, a pleasure and a wonderful surprise. He added, as you will see from her selections throughout this magazine, she is also willing to wade into more complex and nuanced areas, whether they concern female empowerment, mental health, race or privilege. Meghan Markle hoped people would become inspired by the special issue, and wrote, through this lens, I hope you'll feel the strength of the collective and the diverse selection of women chosen for the cover as well as the team of support I called upon within the issue to help bring this to light. I hope readers feel as inspired as I do, by the forces for change they'll find within these pages. These last seven months have been a rewarding process, curating and collaborating with Edward Deninful to take the year's most read fashion issue and steer its focus to the values, causes and people making an impact in the world today.